welcome to the cloud network today i am going to show you how to install jenku os in, in virtual box so we need to have virtual box first of all to install gen2 uh, just uh, click on this uh, download link and here is your uh, virtual box where you can download gen2 about this uh, windows supported linux solaris purpose okay, this is the latest version after downloading this uh, Installation of this, uh, you can find in my cloud network video and about the Gen2 where you can just download on this uh, Google type on this Gen2 this website. And here, I'm going to show you about this uh, installation of Gen2 live installation media where just uh, uh, when you just you can access this uh, Gen2 about this uh, only to live access media. And this is a supported Alpha AMD 64 bit ARM IA. And this, uh, these are the supported for which uh, recording purpose you can download. Uh, clicking on this install CD that will be installed directly. Or uh, this is a click on this one. Uh, so much. This is the one and ten which I have downloaded and uh, which I have downloaded. If you want uh, genuine like desktop graphical based supported means uh, clicking on this site, you will be come on to this uh, page. After seeing this, this is a uh, AMD supported or 64 bit supported. So just click on this here 64 bit supported IS image. Uh, after click on 64 bit supported, uh, here is you can see this is a IS image for AMD 64 bit. This size is 3.64 bit, 3.4 GB size. Uh, we can run and uh, not only from your FTP, you can download this, you can download from torrent also. Here is our torrent is provided. Uh, this is a graphical base we can download, and I am here going to show you about live uh, ISM image that you can boot the Gen2. So, this is a image which I have downloaded uh, as Gen2, and I am going to show you how to install Gen2 in live virtual box. Click on new uh, type Gen2 and uh, selecting your according to a 64 bit or 30 board. Uh, next press um, and ram uh, click on next create click on next next uh, this is the hard disk size which i am going to assign 30 30 gb at least uh, this is the location of the gen 2 uh, if you want to change the location you can keep by default it will install in c drive only i am changing the location as per my condition so click on settings or uh, need to change some settings go to settings uncheck this floppy and uh, we need to have cd-rom directly boot or uh, click on uh, isomh storage you need to assign isomh you are clicking on this just select where your isomh are downloaded and open it and go to the network assign this internet so that we can access internet also click on start Directly. so it's asking to press any key or it will be boot from the disk I press the key and it is booting uh, please remember this is just only this live uh, installation that means only it will be accessed till uh, this uh, ISO image is there so, so this key, assigning the key language English keyboard language showing a positive number or uh, if you want to have uh, change means you can enter the number during the installation so this is uh, giving this now so here is some instruction showing uh, it has been automatically logging with the root see you can see automatic logging root and if you want to uh, for security purpose has been described uh, see this is for internet uh, DSP is available for just you to type uh, net and let me show you about this net and just type set up you need to set up the internet so internet zero so press enter so it's showing this is for network integration is like you to wish yes and this is my wireless network if you have wireless select second option you yeah, have a wireless so i'm selecting first option only please enter the society or the link blank uh, which i have i have internet access that means SSID wireless key is asking. So I am giving later on. So this is the I specify 
if you want to have manually appear those means select this option if you want to detect automatically select this option so it will be detect automatically at the glass only uh, we wait some more time so it should type IP config make sure the interface is currently available so it's still in process so here is we can see I have get the IP address see my thing name reply is getting so I get the so I can see after typing this command our uh, net setup I get the it will be set as few three few more steps after that I after that you need to type IP config then you get IP address as you can see on screen so this is if you want to change the root password please uh, just have a sudo password root sorry so I am going to change the root password uh, by typing password root. So it's asking me password. So we have been updated the password, and this is the way uh, this installation has been configured. And uh, thank you for watching me this manual installation of Gentio. This only for uh, manual installation. Please subscribe to Articlot.net.